All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. S here from SNAs Organized Creations. In this video here, I'm going to be getting more into um, our powered devices here. All right, so you can see what we're going to be testing is that 25 up there. That's indicating that it's 25 hertz. All right, so this coil is being powered right now. This whole charge plate with the rodent coil. Um, this one here is a powered device as well with a plug-in, but these ones here are all passive devices. So they're not powered, they're just charge plates, organized charge plates in general. Okay, so it's mainly about the powered systems. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I've got another jig here, I'm gonna show you all what this is about. I've got my old phone here. We're gonna play around with that and plug that in to see what affects the strength of this. So what I'm trying to do here is a lot of people on, say, Etsy or whatever that are selling, mainly like the toroidal donut looking ones that are a rodent coil. Um, what they're suggesting to do is basically, you have a plug like this or like this. Here, you can plug it into the device and then plug it into your phone and run apps, frequency generator apps. All right, now I'm just gonna show you one, just like this here, right? So it's frequency generator app, and if you play that, you can hear it. That is one hertz, right? So you can change the frequency. I mean, I think you get the idea, right? All right, so we'll stop that. But yes, you can just plug, the, now this is my old phone. It has a AUX plug in it there, that hole. All right, a lot of new phones, well, the new phones these days, they do not have that. They've got either the just the C port, for charging your phone and that um, on your Android or uh, the lightning plug or whatever it is for the Apple. All right, so you can get a converter plug for that that plugs into your C port or your lightning port into a female um, AOX where this here would plug into. So you can do that. So what I'm getting at is this here is powered. This is on. We can put that on there. And you can see, right? You can see that, that that's moving. Um, if I have, I've forgotten my, nope, here it is there. Compass, all right? So take that ball off, we know that works. See which way north is going. So north is where that arrow there points. All right. See that? So we've got these devices hooked up so that um, the bio north which is the most healing side, um, is the coil side, okay? So you put the coil um, against the body, whatever, if you've got a sore knee, hold it up against your knee, you've got a sore back, you can rest with this behind the seat and put it on your back, <coughs> all right, to treat the body. Um, or as I'll show you, well, I'll explain to you, I've shown in other videos, um, you can change the frequency to a more higher frequency, you get way more range, you get a three foot radius um, at least, okay? So you can sit with this at the desk like I'm doing now and have this just playing and you'd be basking in that frequency, okay, that electromagnetic field. All right, so <clears throat> now on with this video, what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Now, I'll just say in this kit that we're selling here, um, you've got the frequency generator box and what's all inside there and what's included, the cords that are coming out. It's powered by USB. Now, it doesn't come with this. This is just a... This is the power supply right now. This is a power bank, just your standard uh, phone power bank or whatever you'd call it. It's USB. All right. So this device can plug into any USB. Your tablet, your laptop, um, your car. You can take this and put it into your car and have this plane while you're driving your car. You can, uh, yeah, have a battery pack powered um, and have it fully portable. Or if you want it at home and you want it on all the time. Because it's not only going to do put out a magnetic field, it's going to also saturate your area in life force orgone energy. This is orgone energy. This is also an orgone generator, technically. It's getting pulsed with frequencies through the coil, exciting the orgone matrix, organite matrix, producing more orgone. All right? So it's going to saturate the area. So that's another benefit in just having a coil. Right, now, if you want it on all the time, it comes with this PowerPoint plug. So you can plug it into the unit and into the wall socket, so just leave it run all day, every day. 
um, if you choose to. All right, so there's that option there as well. So it comes with this, um, all the cords needed. Um, it comes with this here, which is your charge plate, rodent coil, power um, device there. So you got that, you got this, you got that, and it comes with a testing, wherever I put it, the testing ball here, okay, to see if it's working. So that way you know it's working, yeah? Because it's obvious. Um, you can check with the compass. It doesn't come with the compass, but you can check with that. Um, and we've got gas meters here and tri-field meters and all the rest of it. And this is how we know the range, and we can test it, all right? So this is basically what's included in our Etsy shop. We've got one available right now. And um, you can go ahead and check that out. But moving on with the point of this video, you can see this clearly working, right? A lot of people on Etsy or just wherever they get sell them, <coughs> other makers, and they're advertising them to be like this. Now I'm going to set this up and I'll plug it into the phone, and uh, you'll see. So, well, let's just do this. I've got this one here spare. Let's plug it in on the fly, so you know there's no cuts. There's no mucking around here <clears throat> so I'm going to put my phone on now I'm just plugging this into my phone I'm going to show you all this in a second all right, all right that's in now move that out of the way <clears throat> so we can play this now now one hertz is going from my phone through to the coil right now this was running on 25 hertz right Clearly working. Let's put this on 25 hertz to be fair. So it's all the same hertz. Right. With these, you make sure your volume is all the way up, which it is right up to the top. And let's put this on there and see the action. That's correct. There is no action. All right. It's not that this this here doesn't work. So you watch. I'll unplug this. Let's stop that and then we'll just swap plugs. Alright, so you watch this here, that ball will just start up as soon as I plug it in. See? So that's from this. Alright. So you can see that's crazy. It's, it's a way more, the power difference is insane. Okay, so just that's just so you know this works. The the cable's not faulty, the phone's works, obviously, the phone's working. Um, but there's nothing wrong with this powered charge plate there's just no action going on okay so play there we go it's working no action all right so that clearly does not work it won't even move the compass sorry i'm just getting a grip of this all right so over there you can see the north doesn't move all right doesn't do anything um so what i'm saying is a lot of people they have it set up they'll either have they could have a pyramid with a coil charge plate with a coil the donut toroidal um rodent coil designs from like eye pyramids or q coils for instance they have it connected up to your phone sometimes you can get a mobile phone amplifier and they have it, you put it in between your phone, like you pl plug this from your phone. The cord plugs into the amplifier, which then plugs into this. All right, so in between this and this is an amplifier. Those mobile phone amplifiers are pretty useless, all right, because I've tested this, I've got one myself. Have I tested all of them? No. Um, but I did search to try to get the, a strong one. And, um, yeah, from what I've testing, like I've got the equipment to test, it it improved it basically nothing um, it was very very minor so it's nearly a waste of time don't even buy a, f a phone amplifier don't even worry about it um, if you're gonna do it get a serious amplifier but then yeah you got to be careful with that too all right um, Okay, where was I? Um, just got interrupted there for a second that's why I paused it um, yeah so those phone amplifiers are just don't even worry about it. Um, now, what I can do is, this is a frequency generator. This is a DDS uh, frequency generator. I forget what that stands for, but we can do the same thing here. Now, this is plugged into the wall. This is the power, power socket here, plugged into the wall. Um, 
it's got a BNC connector here. Now, I'll touch on this in a sec. We'll run through this. But if you think, if you get a proper, I guess I don't own one, but I guess a proper generator would be the Spooky 2. Um, everyone seems to love them. Uh, they're everywhere. Um, so the same connectors here are what is the output of the Spooky 2, okay? So this is a BNC. Right, so I've got a BNC that goes to AUX. So if you had a Spooky 2, you could purchase one of these from us. Right? You get buy one of these plugs yourself with a BNC, and then you can plug it straight into your Spooky 2. So from your Spooky 2, you get this cable, and you can buy one of these, and you can power it that way. All right, so you don't have to get the whole kit from us. Um, I recommend that you do because I know the output of this is quite strong compared to what other people are offering. But let's just go ahead and power this up. I'm just going to turn this on. All right, so it's a square wave. Always a square wave is the best. 25 hertz, as you can see, it is on. So what we're going to do is plug this in to the device. All right, just... There we go, on. So that is on, all right? That's plugged in. All right, you can see what I'm getting at here. These devices, there's other ones. There's a white one that's well known. Um, it, it's white, it's got a couple of dials on. It's very similar, it's just white. It's more rectangular. Um, you know, things like that and this, they're pretty useless, all right, in power. Yes, they're putting through frequencies. Yes, they are working. I know they, they do work because I can test something. It's very, very small, but you are not going to get much power out of them at all. All right. Yeah, so it's not going to do that. You really don't need much magnetic field um uh, magnetic field to move the compass since it's picking up the earth's magnetic field which is very weak all right it is so you don't need much to influence this so the field that's coming out of this from this or from a phone is extremely weak okay it's not able to power uh and get you anything use you want like the the range of it is nothing the magnetic field coming out is nothing all right basically so how are you going to treat that? How are you going to do anything with that, right? With this device that we're offering here and what's inside, um, it throws out a bigger field, at least three foot. It depends on the frequencies. Um, you can watch the video that I've done um, where I, exp I explore that. Um, but maybe I'll leave the link in the description if I remember. But you can really see the difference in this. Like the ball just wants to jump out of here. You can see that, right? It's crazy. Um, if you, because it's on 25 hertz, which is really low, you put it up high frequency. Let's just do, oh, let's just go 512 then. 512 is a good one for your heart chakra. You can hear this hum. I think you can hear that. Now, what I'm going to do is take this magnet ball out. All right, so bear with me for a sec. All right, so I'm just taking this magnet ball out. As it goes higher, yeah, it doesn't throw the magnet ball around because there's less. Oops, 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 oops. Nearly, <laughs> nearly lost it. All right, yeah. You can see how it just wants to sit in the center. See that? All right, so lifting it up on the angle. So but by doing this with a high frequency, the range is at least three foot, okay? So it's at least, so sitting here now, I'm well, my whole body is within this whole field of five, 12 hertz. All right, really good for your heart chakra, all right? Um, when you see this on Etsy, um, look at the description. You can see in there that I've got my own chakra list of frequencies that I recommend for the body. You can go ahead and Google and look at other PEMF 
frequencies. Typically, they go between 1 to 100 hertz. Uh, different brainwave states. If, For instance, if you want for sleep, go right down to 1 to 3 hertz. Okay? So that's 3 hertz. So that's 3 cycles, 3 beats, 3 repetitions, however you want to say a second. If you put it on 1, you'll see how it ticks every second. So it goes to the center every second one, two. Sometimes it likes to stay there. Two, three, yeah. So what that does is that entrains your brain to slow down. Once your brain slows down, so this is really good just before sleep or during sleep the whole night, um, makes your brain stay in that low rhythm. That's where sleep happens. That's where healing happens. That's where dreaming happens. That's where... Everything is. That's when you want to shut down for the for the day. You've done your day. Recuperate, detoxify your body, all the rest of it. Okay? This can help you sleep. That's just one benefit of the many hundreds that you can do with this device. All right? Different frequencies. You can structure your water. Not only that, you don't even have to have a power. Like this alone is a powerful device. You can use this for whatever. It's a passive device. It's an organite charge plate. All right? Very, very powerful. Very, very unique. In what we are doing here all right um, but yes this video is basically on now this I'll just tell you this particular one is not for sale that's a different device uh, for a different purpose what is available is this one this one and we've got one more available that's on Etsy go ahead and click it so remember what I said what you get is you get this unit you don't get the battery pack um, uh, but you get this here for the wall socket to power the device you get this cord here everything that you need by the battery pack basically and you get this ball to test it all right so you know it's working all right so that is it for this one but yes if you have a spooky two generator frequency um generator that's they're very very popular all right so this is what you'd need if I can. I am just taking this off, which is proving to be difficult with one hand. Got it. All right. So out of your speaker two is your BNC. So that's what you'd see out of your speaker two. These here are females. So you need a male BNC. That's a male to a male AUX. This is a 3.5 millimeter AUX, okay? And then you can inquire about buying one of these. Now, I don't know if I'm going to offer just these here um, on our Etsy instead of the whole kit, like you have kit versions and or just this powered thing here. All right? So if that's the case, you can inquire. I can make you one of these, a custom one. That's fine. <laughs> just message us. It's all in the description. Go to our, our shop or you can email us. And uh, we should get in contact with it. If we don't, just send another email because it could go to junk. You know, that makes it hard for anyone. I don't even know why junk mail is even a thing. Um, but yeah, so that's the thing. All right. I wouldn't bother. You can, but I wouldn't bother with this. I wouldn't bother with a phone setup or the phone amplifier. I wouldn't bother with that. Um, a lot of devices come with that sort of stuff and the promote that that's what you need to do. But it's, as, you, as you've just seen, it's extremely weak. It's not even going to throw out a magnetic field to do anything. All right. So don't do that. Get this as a bare minimum. If you've got a proper frequency generator like this Spooky 2, and then you can just get this plug, which is very cheap. It's probably like five bucks. Um, if that, I don't know what I paid for it, but um, you probably just get that. Buy this. And you're hooked. You're gone. All right. Um, but yeah, this unit is very powerful. Like you just seen, you're going to get some good results, good effect out of it. And uh, that's just it. It's like kind of like buy beware, um, because they won't go into this. They won't say what the Gauss rating is, what's the field radius, um, what frequencies to what field radius as well. Um, in the description of this here, it's it's all in there that what we've um, what we're doing, all right? Um, so we do more testing than what most people would do. Um, and there's plant growth experiments and stuff like that that I've done. And, you know, 
it's good results from this stuff and that's not i haven't done that with powered devices yet one day i want to do 432 verse 528 hertz solfeggios i'm against solfeggios so i'd love to i'll get to that test one day i don't know when when i have enough of these powered devices up and running um, and then i can select two of them and just use them and have them powered the whole time because i reckon uh, 432 will blow five uh to eight out of the water you know the five to eight is supposed to be um healing dna and la 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 the love thing i, th I think it's complete bogus and made up crap to be honest i think i've got it wrong by marco Roden's work with vortex based mathematics and his Roden coils and stuff like that those solfeggio frequencies are nothing but the family number groups they are not frequencies okay um that's jamie beardiff's however you say his name jamie whatever his last name is that's his work that's what he's discovered that's what he's worked out and it's it's when you watch him and listen to him it's 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 in your face it's very simple um and he is telling the truth jamie but leonard horwitz is the one that's really pushing this and there's been other third party studies done where they test um uh, they tested 432 verse uh 5 to 8 hertz and the 528 was bad, basically, or it didn't do nothing, where the 432 showed massive increase in results. All right? That was in plant testing and with human testing. All right? So, yeah, there's something in it. I don't recommend sulfurgios at all. All right? So that is it, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. It's very late at night, so sorry if I sound sluggish, but it's because I'm tired. So thing to take away is consider this unit buy it if not hit us up and you can message us and just purchase this to connect it to a, your own frequency generator if you got a spooky to that would be best i don't know the power output of that but it's got to be surely it's got to be better than this and your phone don't worry about any devices in my opinion that say you connect it to your phone and just run a frequency app frequency generator app because it's it's useless it's absolutely useless like you just seen <clears throat> not only that some apps may require you or um, you use your internet your wi-fi or whatever you're trying to get away from all that that's one reason why you'd want this sort of stuff as protection you're using your phone now you're running your data your, your wi-fi when you're trying to get away from that and it's going through your phone um, why would you want that you're only increasing your exposure yeah um, not the case with a device like this or something like this or your spooky too, but your phone. If you can run the app and you have it on fly mode, fine. But as you've seen, it's very weak. All right, you're not going to get that ball to move. You're not going to show anything on the compass. And Earth's magnetic field is extremely weak, and yet this here works on <laughs> for showing where the North Pole is that way. All right? So, yeah, just buy beware. Don't get tricked with someone else's design coils to all things that might look cool or a coil in a pyramid or whatever, and then they have it hooked up to your phone. It's not going to be doing much at all, okay? That's just my two cents worth. That is it, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. As always, thanks for watching.